Hey, what's going on everybody? Human Dream, back at it again with the UFC 3. Here with a special video for you guys. Here this video is going to detail how I deal with pressure fighting and how I deal with certain pressure fighters. Here I'm going against Iron Sharif. If anybody doesn't know who Iron Sharif is, he is notorious for the head bobbling, the Brock Bacon combos, and he is the inventor of the Sharif Shuffle. But the man has long been patched out, but he still likes the pressure fight. He still likes to be in your face and hit you with a slip straight and hook to get a rock. Throwing the four-piece combos to break your block and hopefully you'll slip into something. But knowing that going in, my game plan was to stay in his face, bro. Just to stay in his face. And you guys will be like, why in the hell would you do that? Especially you have John Jones. And you have a lot, a lot of long range weapons to use to keep him at bay. I've been practicing this lately, bro. And I've been like, listen, if I'm going against a pressure fighter, I'm not going to be scared. I'm not going to back up. I'm just going to stay in your face. And we're going to, we're going to slug it out, bro. I'm going to just, I'm going to just throw single shots to try to interrupt you and then hit you with a nasty combo. Or hit you with a one-two, because that's what I like to do. I like to throw one-twos, like jab, uppercut, jab, hook, straight hook, straight uppercut, straight hook to the body, jab, hook to the body, stuff like that. So, that's my game plan going into this uh, this fight with Iron Sharif, is to listen. Okay, come on. We're going we gonna to slug it out. I'm going to let you. <laughs> Excuse me. I had a piece of hair on my lip. But uh, I'm going to slug it out with you. I'm going to stay in your face and I'm going to use my round strikes. I'm going to use my elbows. I'm going to use my knees. And we're we, we going we, we gonna to hash this out, man. I'm not going to be scared. I'm not going to run away from you. I'm not going to use my distance. I know your game plan. You're not really too good at the pressure fighter now since you've been pet patched out. And the only person I can really give credit to in pressure fighting is Swiss Liebacks. This man's a poor man's not he's not even a poor man's version of Swiss Life Back because he's not even on that level. He's not even on Swiss's level. Swiss's pressure is the only pressure fighting that gives me consistent trouble. But yeah, so again, say so I'm letting him throw, I'm blocking the shots. Just trying to hit a block counter. Or wait till he's done in time and strike. Boom. Drop him with the double elbows. Spin him back kick. See now he's getting frustrated. And that's the thing. Just defend the strikes, bros. Just defend the strikes. Do not be scared. Do not be scared or get discouraged if you get hit by one of the strikes. If you get hit by one of the four or three strikes that a pressure fighter is throwing, then you're good. You're 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 safe. And better yet, if you're able, if you're good with your head movement, and if you're able to slip a few of those strikes, like one or two of those strikes, you're killing their stamina. You're killing their stamina. And that's even better. Alright? But be mindful that, yes, if you do block block the strikes, they're not losing that much stamina. You know? But if you do make them whiff, yes, they're going to lose a lot of stamina. And if you're good with your block counters, yeah, block the strikes and just counter off with your own strike. And you'll be fine. And that's what I was trying to do here. See, see them elbows? Elbows in the pocket with John Jones is deadly because he has level three or four rear end lead elbows. And I think he has that level, his his, his spinning elbow is a level three too. And you can chain the 12 to six elbow he has in the spinning elbow into a combo. So knowing that, I'm like, come at me, Sharif. Come at me. Alright, so hopefully what I'm doing in this video can help you guys really deal with certain pressure fighters and a, a fighter like him. And there I drop it with a straight uppercut hook as soon as the round starts. Look, round strikes. Round strikes, able to slip that hook. Throw a four-piece combo at him. Now, now I'm like, let's, let's, let's go, let's bang, bro. I dropped you a few times. I rocked you a few times. That hell health is dead. So let's get it, bro. Look, I'm not backing up. I'm letting him hit my block. 
Like, come on, come, come on, bring it some more, bro. Throwing the elbow, missed the elbow. He's still throwing. I'm letting him hit my block. I slip his jab. Just pestering him, annoying him. Right there, that could have been deadly right there for me. I threw a spinning back kick. I don't think I meant to throw I think I meant to throw an elbow. But the video is about to come to an end, man. I, I just want to show you, don't be scared of the pressure fighter, man. All right, don't be scared of the pressure fighter. Stay in their face, let them swing, slip a slip a uh, strike here and there, hit them off with round strikes, and you'll be fine. Or if you want to stick to the outside, you can do that too. But bam, hit it with the overhand, it's over. This is Team the Dream. I'm out of here, guys. Hopefully this video helps you guys with the pressure fighter. Peace.